You are the sun. You are the rain. And that makes my life ooh, let's game. You need to know I love you so. And I'll do it all again and again. Oh, 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 you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house this day after Memorial Day. Oh, and I hope you all had a chance to acknowledge and memorialize your loved ones. In my community, it's not just the vets. It's all the ones we lost, okay? Because at this point, we've lost a lot more people in these hoods than all the wars combined. So I'm just going to leave it there, okay? Or pretty close to. Anyway... I thought this was real good, and this was taken from my little uh, uh, vanilla brother, Luke Beasley. Um, and I thought this was a very, very good, uh, it's just a very good interview, which is Bill Maher, who y'all know I really can't, don't like that much. However, when you write and you and you stand up, upright i have to acknowledge who you are and the truth that is running through all of us or at least they should be so what i've been having a problem with is a lot of black people they're so fed up with the process that they don't want to vote for Vi biden's ass and i can't blame them oh that i can't blame and, and not one bit but unfortunately, we didn't run another candidate. Y'all didn't believe in Marion Williamson or anybody else y'all thought was a long shot. So Biden stays where he is, um, at least to give somebody a run. Um, Cornell West didn't want to run in the Democratic, but here's the, pro here's the issue. Donald Trump is a psychopath. And for those of y'all who don't, understand that i want to know who the hell y'all was raised by were you raised by a pack of damn wolves were you raised by because this this is a country of um crazies and i realized that you don't do everything you've done in america and what comes out of that soil is normal a lot of people think it's great to say i'm normal in a psychotic environment that ain't saying nothing that ain't saying nothing at all. So what I'm trying to rationalize is democracy or no democracy. Both of them two old white, washed up white men that wear diapers. Well, I know one do. They smell like poop. And the American public is so filthy and like human garbage or would vote for somebody that has is a convicted grapist who um got 94 3 whatever char uh charges against him that he got to fight this is supposed to be the party of a law and order and all this and the old main character is a damn grapist how make it make sense but they want to talk about worrying about men in the bathroom First of all, we ain't going to have no a fucking democracy when Donald Trump comes because the country is going to be led by the uh, insane asylum. Come back. Go lay down, Pepper. That's who the country is going to be ran by. And if that suits y'all, well, then I guess we deserve, y'all deserve, I don't, because I know the difference. Y'all don't know what it looked like. Y'all think this is a damn game to lose democracy. You ain't going to never get it back? I mean, at least you have a chance with, as long as you can fight, that you can throw out 
whatever you don't like, whether it's the men in the bathroom, whether it's uh, black men getting shot down, whatever it is that you don't like, you have a chance of passing something under the auspices of democracy. You lose democracy, you start talking that shit, you're going to get killed. And y'all don't understand that. That's what a lot of y'all don't. I ain't saying all. Oh. I'm saying a lot of y'all don't even understand that. So y'all so mad at damn Biden's crazy ass for letting um, immigrants in here that you, I ain't going to vote for him. Y'all think he making these decisions. Do you think for one minute, and don't say Barack Obama because that would make you even more crazy. It's the crown, baby. It's the marionette. It's the puppet master. They're the author of confusion. The Exxons, the Shell Mobiles, the, them kind of people. Them is the ones that run America. Not no goddamn Joe Biden. What is wrong with y'all? You get rid of democracy, you might as well, especially if you black. Now, let me talk to my black people for a minute. Listen, Willie Lynch took a great pleasure in saying, don't worry about those niggers. They're going to be perpetually miserable no matter what we do. Just implement, just implement all these ideas that I got on these people. Pit the old male against the young man. Pit the woman against the man. Pit the tall against the short. Pit the light skin against the black skin. Now, if you can do all this, we'll make these people so damn crazy for a, a hundred years from now. They'll be perpetually miserable for thousands of years. And guess what? His training is working. Any black person that sit up there and they want to vote for somebody whose father was a Klansman, who sit up there, it ain't, I think he was a racist. He, he's he been deemed a racist by the state of New York. He Discrimination in property. He wanted to take a, he took a full page ad out wanting murder against some boys, some teenage black boys. Y'all so stupid. Half of y'all maybe wasn't barely born, so y'all got an excuse. But the rest of y'all, the rest of y'all don't got no excuse. You just being ignorant. Talking about, oh, well, I ain't going to vote for, if you stay home and don't vote for nobody, your vote going to go for uh, to Donald Trump. Okay, matter of fact, let me give it, I'm a, I'm going to play this segment so I can shut my mouth. And I agree with Bill Maher and, this, Maher, and this is what I said I agree with. Him and the racist Megyn Kelly. I definitely think the right wing is much more dangerous. They don't believe in democracy anymore. And they threw their lot in with a sociopath named Donald Trump. So, you know, don't... <laughs> No, he's not. That was a moment from an interview that Megyn Kelly did with Bill Maher. And I'll play much more from it for you and we'll, of course, discuss. And as I've been saying, now that Bill Maher is on this book tour, he's selling his new book, so he's doing a lot of these interviews. Uh, so often, as I broke down in detail in the past segment, I have issues with Bill Maher's discussion of Megyn too. But first, here's more on that no he's not no no i just like okay. like okay. i want to talk about your feelings on trump yeah well there you go um, but this is how so you and i are very similar I, I feel like you're kind of a four and i'm a six on the ideological scale we have a lot of overlap but you're definitely still uh, sure. going to vote democrat and i'm definitely going to vote republican but there's enough well, co commonality to make us shake our heads yes when the other one speaks a lot so you're going to vote for trump i am going to vote for trump yeah yeah i mean i i i can't even understand that. Uh, and, and he called uh, her and bloody. Is, is deeply flawed, but he does believe in our way of life. And, you know, I mean, I was the one who was saying from the very beginning when everyone was laughing at me that Donald Trump will never give up power. And he didn't. He still hasn't conceded the last election. I don't know what could possibly be more fundamental to you or anyone then you have to concede elections. I'm going to quickly... It's plain no. not going to concede this one. He now has all of his sycophants around him parroting his party line, which is when they, when they ask them, will you uh, abide by the election results? Uh, yes, if it's a free and fair election, which is another way of saying if we win. Mm. You really think this is a place this country should be? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to defend the election denialism. I'm not one of those people who but believes that. what's more that. important? What, what kind of country do we have? How about my daughter not going into a locker room and seeing a man's penis? 
That's important too, and I bring. Very. I mean, How about young men on college campuses getting due process when they okay. get accused falsely of rape? Well, I, I, yeah, I think that's a false equivalency. I think these things. Bullshit! Are, what do you mean? I think these things are important, and but you can you can handle these things through the normal due process of our our system, but if we lose the system itself, come but on. We didn't. We didn't so far. You they tried it. It failed. And I have more to play, but that moment embodies so many conversations I've had before that really disturbed me. Because she didn't say, no, he didn't try to completely destroy the system. She said, he tried, but he didn't. Meg, what are you talking about? And here's a little bit more. Right, and now he's had four years to put in place people who will make it work again. I don't know if there'll be a John Raffensperger in Georgia, a noble Republican who stood up to him. He thought last time that he could count on someone being just a Republican to do his bidding. And what he found out was that there are a lot of decent people who are Republicans, which is something I'm trying to tell the Democrats all the time. You can't hate, you can hate Trump, you can't hate everybody who likes him, and you certainly can't hate half the country, and Republicans is not a, a byword for bad people. Uh, and a lot of them stood up. I mean, even ones who I don't like very much, um, Mitt Romney, uh, McConnell, uh, obviously Liz Cheney, um, Chris Christie, there were uh, Mike Pence. These are what I call as good as it gets Republicans for the people who don't like Republicans. They full-throatedly said Trump lost that election. Mm -hmm. No two ways about it. McConnell said it wasn't even a particularly close a election. A lot of people said it. A lot of people said it. And, but look, I agree with you that the majority of the Republican Party doesn't believe that. But I do think there's a difference between... It was stolen, you know, the, the nonsense with Dominion voting machines and all that versus it wasn't fair. And what you know, wasn't fair? The right, election we started. What yeah, wasn't well, fair? Okay. Well, the, How election... about the suppression of the Hunter Biden left tax rate just just for one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Real. I mean, for real. Uh, Hunter Biden's laptop. Hunter Biden's laptop. Okay, Hunter Biden's laptop. Y'all, y'all want to go with that one? You really do. Let's keep it going. So yeah. It picks up on something you said to me, shortly before I came on your show after my own cancellation at NBC. <laughs> yeah. And you said you seem to me privately. You said you seem to me kind of like me right now, which is somebody without a political home. And sure. I, I felt that way. And I still feel that way. I mean, I've been a registered independent forever, right. but I know exactly what you're saying. Just the world's lost its mind. Yeah. And I, I certainly would never put on somebody's team jersey anymore. Right, without a team. Yep. Right. Um, and you know what? I like it that way. Uh, because I don't want to be a part of a team. I mean, I would say I caucus with the Democrats more. I definitely think the right wing is much more dangerous. This is how, so you and I are very similar. I, I feel like you're kind of a four and I'm a six on the ideological scale. We have a lot of overlap, but you're definitely still uh, sure. going to vote Democrat, and I'm definitely going to vote Republican. And that gets us into the other part that we saw. So I guess, I guess, my, okay, let me interrupt you right here. Luke, y'all, y'all ain't never had a world without democracy. Why start now? You don't know what that means. You really don't. Look at some of these countries. If you do some reading, instead of being so goddamn emotional, if you would do just a little bit reading and look read about some of these uh, countries that have dictatorship. Okay, especially for your seniors and the, yeah, just see what you get out of countries that have a dictatorship and one person for real, for real, deciding all. Because see, right now, if y'all don't like something, you still can get, like right now, they working on uh, putting on uh, another person on the Supreme Court or a couple of, because they realize the Supreme Court has gone rogue. Don't even think about it once you lose democracy. It is what it is. And it ain't never going to go back to uh, anything that's uh, just a resemblance of something normal. Y'all really better think about it.
Some of y'all so mad at Biden that you want to vote for uh, um, Donald Trump. And when I see that, or people being ignorant enough to say that he's more black because he's been a criminal, how don't y'all got no shame? Cause he wears sneakers and we all we wear is sneakers. Y'all y'all cool with that? I ain't cool with that. And I know a lot of other black people that ain't cool with that. Y'all not finna run us down in the ground because y'all stupid and don't want to read. You don't get to destroy us all. You don't get to do that for being ignorant and not reading and being emotional. You don't get to do that. Understand what a democracy is and then what it is if you lose it. Do yourself a favor. Do your grandkids a favor. Do your kids a favor. Hell, do yourself a favor. With that being said, I want to see you and tell me what you think about this. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.